I'm Alice and I work here at McLaren in the racing simulator. I'm a mechanical engineer. I've worked at McLaren for four years now. The last year and a half I've been working in the simulator. I work mainly with the young drivers, helping them to develop their skills and then also on test programs for the racing team. Our preparation for an F1 race weekend starts about a month before we go to a particular track. We run qualifying and we run race modes and the idea of that is to look at engine data, suspension data, aerodynamics and also check that there's no issues with the simulator model for that particular track. After P2 is when our real work starts and that's because you have very little track time in F1 on the Friday and even less on the Saturday. If you want to make decisions on a Friday night, your best tool is the simulator. A good racing driver doesn't always make a great sim driver and a great good sim driver doesn't always make a great racing driver but there is often quite a good crossover because the skills and the experience that they have from the track often translate back here. I think a lot of the best simulator drivers are probably some of the most technically savvy drivers out there and that's not really a simulator thing, it's more as a test driver it is important that you really understand what it is your engineer is trying to achieve with each test so that you can provide meaningful feedback. Increasingly, as we get younger and younger drivers into the simulator, a lot of our drivers do online gaming. Both Stoffel and Lando, who's one of our new young drivers, are champion online gamers. They assure me that there are faster guys out there, but as far as I can tell, they're superstars of online gaming. The guys who are fast gamers out there, they clearly have an extremely good feel for a car in a simulator and an understanding of balance of a car, how to get the most out of it. And so it'd be really interesting to work with them. Both Stoffel and Fernando are quite big fans of of racing games. I know Fernando sits at home quite a lot practicing tracks. Even when we go to a new track, he'll have played it on a PlayStation or whatever it is he has at home. Stoffel used to be quite a serious online gamer, but unfortunately, once his on-track racing career took off, he had to cut down on his online racing. And I think he's now a bit worried that he can't quite keep up with the competition.